The Dark Knight of the Soul, for those of you that don't keep up with 16th century philosophy, is a spiritual crisis described by mystics and contemplatives from many religious traditions. It is a period of extreme spiritual desolation, sadness and feelings of abandonment or being cut off from source. Falling ass first into a cactus is more pleasant. During the dark night, one's previous spiritual experiences and certitudes are stripped away, leaving the soul feeling utterly deprived of consolation or security. It involves profound doubting of one's beliefs and losing one's sense of meaning and purpose in life. The concept originated with St. John of the Cross, but has been described across cultures by mystics like Rumi, Sri Ramakrishna, Black Elk and many others who underwent this profound transformational crisis. Whilst on my spiritual journey, I underwent an experience mystics call the Dark Night of the Soul, a profoundly disorienting crisis where my core beliefs and worldviews were challenged to their foundations. This metaphorical wilderness felt like an abyss of hopelessness and disconnection from Source and Beloved Spirit. There was no introductory brochure nor short video to watch prior, you just suddenly find yourself there. Okay, fine. Now what? At first, the Dark Knight manifested as a creeping, hovering sense of self-doubt and existential anguish. The spiritual consolations and certainties I had relied on slowly vanished, leaving me adrift in a murky, swirling black void. My prayers and meditations, once rich wellsprings, became arid deserts devoid of meaning. A stream of every single mistake I made flashed in a nausea-inducing stream in front of me. An overwhelming feeling of abandonment by beloved spirit enveloped me as I stumbled through this desert of the soul. It was as if my god services were terminated due to lack of payment. Oh shit, is putting it mildly, very mildly. I went mad, hating and loathing my body, my voice and my thoughts, muttering and sometimes shouting curses at the air and avoiding taking meals, thinking it cursed to damnation as much as myself. For a time reference, this all took place only a few weeks ago. A peculiar after effect is that sometimes now I have to set reminders to feed myself, I'm fine with that. I was somewhat acquainted with the words of St. John of the Cross. The soul treads this night in a state of terrible abandonment. My connection to the animating essence of beloved spirit that had once flowed so vibrantly felt utterly severed. The primordial source from which all arises was just plain old gone baby gone. Me being ex-military and have seen and done things, I don't scare easy. This scared me so good my grey hairs turned back brown. I could have sworn Mart's feather of truth was there, but no Anubis. Uh, so this is not my funeral I'm walking towards. Oh yes, the hell it was. This concludes part one.